All right, good work takes time, so I'm still working on mine. So you can see where I've started putting a middle tone in blue on the little fins that are sticking out the side of the head here. So I'm just sort of making sure everything looks pretty much even as far as the middle tone goes. But then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna push that color a little darker by using like a dark purplish blue here before I jump straight to the black. So I need to think about, well, this feather that's overlapping there, that would cast a shadow onto that blue. So I'm gonna use this color to create that shadow. And then if this is down beside the head and the head is sticking up, that would actually create the effect of a shadow too. And then around here, and then outside the little ear spool, so I'm gonna blend coming away from that as well. So here it looks kind of like I stopped, so I'm actually gonna fade that away a little bit more. Underneath this one would have the same effect, and then behind the feather there. And then maybe coming up from around the side and onto the high relief part. Same thing down here. And then around that ear spool, I need to finish that part. So looking at this, you can see a definite difference in how this side looks versus the other side where I really just sort of filled it in with one color. Okay, but now I wanna pay a little more attention to the ear spool. So I'm gonna go with a green that's darker than what I started with. And I'm gonna use a curved mark, like we've talked about before on a curved surface. And then same thing along here. But as I curve towards the middle of the shape, you can see that I'm pressing lighter and lighter. All of a sudden, this looks a lot more three-dimensional than what we have going on on this side, where we only use one color. I only use one color so far. So then I'm gonna darken some of those shadows. So just up under that feather where the contact shadow would be, as it comes out from under, it gets a little lighter. Same thing next to the head here. Where this would be touching the low relief part of the green, and then where this would be touching the low relief part of the blue. So it looks pretty good a second ago. That's looking even better. So I'm gonna continue working on this side and the other side. And then we'll talk about the feathers and the hair-like stuff there.